Traders, I'm done trading for the day. I'm going to have a red day. I do want to talk about something which I believe is important. Let's talk a little bit about Tesla before that. Just take a look at my PNL here. As you can see, I'm having a red day with three losers, just one winner. One of the big losers uh, is uh, ZM. Um, it did come down after all, so well, I didn't want to hang on there. I just didn't know where it was, it was going. I should have had my stop and I did. And anyway, I just gave back uh, 50% of my earnings yesterday, so that's a 50% pullback. <laughs> anyway, um, a red day, part of the game, had some wrong trades, but uh, let's talk a little bit about Tesla. The trade I did not take today, well, I did not take Tesla because the S&P is trending lower. Let's take a look at the S&P. Now, here's the S&P. Tesla was on my long list. If you take a look at my pre-market long list, you will find uh, Tesla on my long list right there. So why is Tesla on my long list? The reason Tesla is on my long list, uh, it's not because it had a pre-market uh, big move. Actually, it was almost at uh, zero or so. So I was watching Tesla pre-market time. The thing I liked about Tesla was the daily. So. Let's talk about Tesla and let's remember that the S&P so far is trading lower, okay? So if I watch Tesla intraday, there are several opportunities to short Tesla today. Why? Because it started up, then it came down, tried to move higher, failed, then came down again. It, it did come out, uh, some of you guys posted it, thought, well, maybe we should short it and so on. And what you really heard from me, although the market was trending lower, is that the only thing I liked about Tesla is the fact that the daily looks good. That's the reason I posted it pre-market time. Now, if you take a look at the daily, you can see why it looks so good. It really does look very, very good. Now, let's take a look at the last year so we can see how Tesla behaved. So Tesla is really kind of going sideways, but right now it's uptrending and just moved over this huge resistance line over there. So if you take a look at the way Tesla is right now, that's a beautiful technical formation for a long. Tesla clearly moving higher. Now, if you take a look at uh, yesterday's price action, then Tesla made a big uh, upside move yesterday. That's this green candle here. So normally after a big upside move, uh, we call it a momentum move. You would find some more uh, upside continuation. And again, you need to remember that the daily looks uh, technically very, very solid for a long. So if you look at that, and you watch Tesla on the intraday relatively weak, as it was, it, you, it feels like, oh, well, maybe I should short it. And the market is coming down, so maybe I should because it's coming down with the market. But you need to remember the following. You first, look at yesterday. Uh, we, had a, we had a strong upside day yesterday. Second, take a look at the way it bounced at uh, yesterday's support line right over here. So it just came down and bounced there. Uh, maybe the entry point for Tesla could have been if it would have moved much lower than where it was today. It did not. Uh, it came down to the support. It stopped. It found. It, it did find some uh, buyers there. And again, if you take a look at yesterday's momentum and if you take a look and if, if you remember the daily of Tesla, it looks like the only direction Tesla is looking for is up. So why did it come down? It came down because the market came down. That's exactly what I said earlier when I saw Tesla coming down. It came down because the market came down, because the S&P was coming down. And when the S&P is coming down, when it rains, everybody gets wet. Uh, that's an old saying about Wall Street. And then Tesla just came down with the market. When the market started moving higher just a little bit, and again, take a look at the market. I don't know what's coming next. Right now, it still is trending lower. But when it started moving higher, that's when Tesla really took off. So Tesla finally um, took off and moved up very, very strong. And of course, that couldn't have been anticipated. I did not go long Tesla. I mean, it was on my long list. The reason it was there is because, well, if the market would have moved higher and Tesla uh, could have shown me a nice technical formation, yes, then yes, I, I could have considered going long. But the market was coming down, so there was no reason for me to look for a long Tesla, but there was definitely no reason for me to look for a short in Tesla. And again, some of you asked whether we should short Tesla today. That was my answer. At the point where it looked to me like a solid short. Intraday solid short. 
But again, you always have to put things in perspective, take a look at the daily once more. And once you take a look and you see that the daily is so strong, then well, intraday looks solid short, but we're not touching it. The daily looks better for long. Again, that's the reason why Tesla was on my long list today. Although pre-market time, we did not make a move. I just love the daily and that's what it does. Now, if the market would have moved higher, I could have considered the trade. It did not. I'm having a red day. <laughs> it happens. Part of the game. Uh, traders, uh, it was a pleasure uh, being here with you today. Not um, a great pleasure for me to trade today. I mean, red day. But no big deal. Giving back 50% of my earnings yesterday. And um, I am going on a holiday tomorrow. So going back to my boat. Uh, selling the Greek islands. Starting tomorrow again. I don't know how it's gonna, how long it's gonna last. Uh, a week, two week, right now, no plans. We'll see how it goes, and maybe I, I could find a good internet there and trade. Maybe I surprise you in the room. So we'll see about that. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for being with us today. If you're on YouTube, I would really appreciate your thumb up for this live free stream. And um, thank you all. Yeah, coming to Greece. <laughs> Thank you, Constantino. Okay, then. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all next time. I don't know exactly when. Bye, Scott.